PCDemus set search path. One terrific way to keep your PCDemus program files organized is to use the set search path function inside the main PCDemus dialog. Let's just run PCDemus and don't open a part program. We're going to go straight under edit set search path. This little utility lets us assign a path for all the different files that PCDemus uses. The best way to use the set search path function is to create some directories ahead of time to store your PCDemus uh, program files. Now what I've done here is I've created a PCDemus user data folder and under that data folder I've got export data, import data, miscellaneous data, PCDemus probes, PCDemus programs, and report templates. What this does, this allows the user to store any files that are associated with a PCDemus program outside of the PCDemus root directory. And this really makes it easy to distinguish between what is a PCDemus file and what is a user generated file. So let's go ahead and associate uh, our created uh, folders with the uh, appropriate folders in PCDemus. So default export directory will browse for that. When you found that folder just hit apply and move on to the next one. Default import directory will browse for that. Once you find the location where you want your import data stored just hit apply. By the way, the default import data is the, the directory where PCDemus will look for IGES and STEP files that you import into your programs. This is the important one, default part program directory. Do not store your part programs in the, in the uh, PCDemus root folder. That will just clutter up the folder and make it difficult when you go to back up your part programs to distinguish between PCDemus system files and part program files. When you found that directory, just hit apply and we'll go to the next one, which is the probe directory. Again, the idea with the probes is the same as the other files. We want to store those probes away from the PCDemus root directory. And finally, when we get the recall directory filled in, the subroutine directory. Uh, so that's it. We'll just apply that click on OK. The next time we create a part program, CDMIS will look in those folders that we've established to find those attached files.